So the company sent me their focus and energy formula. It's a gaming supplement. And I took this about four hours ago. And I'm still nootropically elevated right now. So <laughs> we'll try to get through this review. <laughs> All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. What's happening, guys? Hope your day is going well. Today we're going to review Gamer Complete Edge focus and energy formula we're gonna go over the ingredients so you know what you're putting in your body we'll go over the effects on this bad boy if you're new to the channel you like stuff like that hit the subscribe button love to have you along for the ride so we're gonna jump right into this and put the ingredient profile right in front of me so we can get into this and get into the effects on this thing see if this is something you're interested in i do not have any discount codes for you guys but i believe this thing is going for a little less than 30 dollars on amazon so i'll put that link down below if you're curious but other than that let's get busy we got two capsules, 30 servings, not bad. We got vitamin B12 as the methyl form, which is the high quality form, 100 micrograms. B12 is going to help. It's a precursor to the catecholamines, norepinephrine, epinephrine, dopamine, serotonin, GABA even. And it helps with red blood cell formation. It helps with DNA and RNA repair and helps with nerve function. So it's a great ingredient to have in a nootropic. Then we have folic acid at 665 milligrams. This is involved in gene expression, DNA and RNA synthesis, and also myelin sheath repair. There's a lot of things that are involved with some of those things too, but this is one component of it. Then we have L-theanine, 200 milligrams. So in pre-workouts, it can't stand L-theanine. But I did some studying this morning, some research this morning when I took this to really dial into the effects to give you guys my experience. And I don't mind L-theanine in a nootropic or gaming supplement because I think it does a good job. So this is an alpha brainwave increaser. And what that does is alpha brainwaves dial down the glutamate secretion within the brain or block it or restrict it to the, that's the excitability uh, hormone within the brain. And it just dials you down. So kind of sets you back, stress relief. And in turn, what it does mainly is it increases brain derived nootropic factor and nerve growth factor, which are peptides in the brain that actually help with cognitive function, focus, and memory. So it helps you kind of dial down and really get into the thought process there. 200 milligrams isn't too bad. Then we've got some ashwagandha, 200 milligrams. This has some cortisol lowering benefits to it, uh, which is good for testosterone production for some people if they live a stressful, anxious life because there is a testosterone to cortisol kind of ratio. So if you are really stressed out, ashwagandha is a good ingredient to try out and start low and work up. But in this particular supplement here, not just the cortisol lowering benefits are you going to get, but this is actually an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, which is an enzyme that actually degrades acetylcholine in the brain. So it's going to keep that elevated to keep the cognitive focus and function all enhanced and, and elevated there. It has a few other functions to it as well as far as regeneration uh, of uh, certain axes within the brain as far as neurons. But that's going to be the main thing with this particular ingredient as far as to keep that acetylcholine active in the brain. Then we have Bacopa at 200 milligrams. This is a clarity ingredient. So this helps, helps with signaling between neurons in the brain, uh, which in turn helps with like mood. This has cortisol lowering benefits. This prevents buildup of toxins. So it's a, an all around ingredient to cleanse the brain, which in turn, when you're removing toxins and stuff out of the brain, there's a clarity, like even visual clarity that people can get off of this particular ingredient. And 200 milligrams isn't bad. That's a good, decent dose. Then we got some alpha GPC. So they put a little small dose, 150 milligrams in here, which isn't bad. They're going for the acetylcholine in here. So this is going to combine well with the ashwagandha. This is going to keep acetylcholine levels raised and the brain firing, the memory working, the focus going. So this is considered a gaming supplement. So it's not really a learning supplement, but uh, I'll let you guys know how this thing hits. Then we got L-tyrosine at 150 milligrams. This is a precursor to dopamine, the other catecholamines, which increases norepinephrine and epinephrine. And um, this is going to help with not much. <laughs> at 150 milligrams, but we're looking at a synergy of everything because a lot of you guys know you get it, you know, one gram, uh, 500 milligrams of L tyrosine. But there, there's a certain, certain delivery on this 
formula that we're going to talk about. I'll let you guys know how this thing hits because it's not always about dosing. It's all about synergy there. So anyways, <laughs> caffeine, 120 milligrams, fantastic ingredient. I love caffeine. Not only does it spike energy blocking adenosine receptors, which you guys already know, but it helps with the, uh, it helps with acetylcholine, epinephrine, and serotonin along with GABA and dopamine receptor activation. So this is like a, a kind of like the foundation for a nootropic formula most of the time because this the caffeine itself does so many different aspects in the brain and then you're kind of then coming in with the other ingredients and then enhancing everything off of that. So that's, I like caffeine. I just do. <laughs> I take it every day. Then we got a favorite ingredient of mine because this helps. This is part of the rebuilding of the cell membrane within the body. And you, I don't know if you guys know this, we have over 40 trillion cells within our body. And all of them have cell membranes, mitochondria, RNA, DNA, coding, encoding, stuff like that. So phospho, phosphodidylserine at 100 milligrams is an ingredient of very important uh, phospholipid that is part of the structure of our cell membranes, especially in the brain, along with DHA. And it keeps the integrity of the cell and it makes it fluid. So what happens is if we do not have enough of like, let's say healthy fats that the cells can be built on, then the cells become tightly wound and things that are supposed to go into and out of those cells don't function properly. And this is an ingredient that is a big part, 15, I think it's like 15% of our cell membranes. So it's a very important ingredient for cellular health, which in turn is going to increase choline levels because this sits in, I think it's in the middle of the cellular membrane towards, toward, not really in the inner inner side of the cell membrane, but in the middle of it. And then you got, you got phosphatidylcholine, which is on the outside of it. And phosphatidylcholine is the main makeup of a cell, which is a choline source. So this is going to activate and help with choline distribu distribution in the brain, which is going to help with acetylcholine and the firing, plus also the health aspects. We can, I can go on and on, but well, basically this is a healthy ingredient and this is going to help with memory and focus and cognitive function uh, with along with all these ingredients here. Then we have ginkgo biloba, 24% extract. I like that. A lot of companies don't put that 60 milligrams. Ginkgo biloba is a mayo inhibitor and a kind of like a vasodilator for the brain. So it increases NO or nitric oxide in the brain, improving circulation, which then in turn with the Mayo inhibited, so monoamine oxidase inhibits catecholamines in the brain, any kind of brain function. So we're blocking that to keep the mood, the cognitive function and everything elevated with ginkgo biloba, 24% extract, and then we're improving circulation as well. So getting right into this, I don't want to babble on. I actually got comments. Uh, I think I get comments every once in a while. That say, you know, forty percent of that video was good, but you babbled the rest of the time. So jumping right into this, gamer complete edge focus and energy. How did it do? So when you take this, it takes a good thirty minutes for things to start dropping in, and I don't know what drops in first, but the energy starts to pick up. Twenty five minutes in the brain and in the body a little bit. I believe the body is just the caffeine. And I'd say about 45 minutes to 50 minutes, excuse me, you're at your peak. And the focus on this thing is a very, very dialed in uh, task driven focus. So I was doing some studying on a computer and after 40 minutes, I stopped and went like, I better move on to something else. And I looked at what I wrote and I was like, or, you know, what the information I got. And I was like, that was way too much information. So I was just kind of driven into the task. You know, I mean, if there's never such thing as too much information. But, uh, you know, I was I was going down the rabbit hole too far. And um, and it's very task driven. So I could see this being a gaming supplement to where you can, like, really dial into your gaming. And it picks you up. It wakes you up. And that, you know, really peaks 45, 50 minutes to an hour, wakes you up physically, you know, and the brain, the brain gets woken up real good. What I really like about this thing is it is not a nootropic bubble, but it becomes that when you task and driven, when you get task driven, driven into a task, then you just become dialed in and focused, really centered 
and really focused on what you're doing without like, there's no kind of crazy, um, shakiness. There's no like physical energy from this thing. It's just an awakened energy with a little bit of physical to kind of move along type thing, maybe 20% where you can just get up and do things. It's very dialed down, very dialed down emotionally. And, um, which is good. Like if you are, this is centered to a gaming supplement. So I can see studying or gaming, this being a very good supplement because it'll make you, it make you, it'll, it'll promote you to sit and get something done. Because once you start that task, it's like, it's hard to pull away from it. It's like, you're there. It's like this video, you know, it's like I said, I'm going to do a video. I'm coming down here. I'm doing the video. Um, I'm going to go up. I'm still four or five hours in. I'm still feeling that task driven focus, whether I'm going to sit in front of the TV and take a break or whether I'm going to work on this video and get it set up to go out tomorrow. But very, very task driven, very dialed in, very tunnel visioned when it really drops in for that first hour hit. And then it just starts to dial down after that for the next hours. So I'm, I'm figuring this is going to be, once it initially hits, a good four-hour hit altogether. Not from when you initially take it, but from an initial hit, you'll have four hours of some cognitive function and focus. And it seems to be dialing down really good as far as the energy. So it's not like a big energy, energy crash or anything like that. But you are docile. There's not a lot of excitability in this thing. Like I, I, I'm task driven, but I'm not physically task driven. I'm more mentally task driven. So I hope that makes sense. So I hope this review is good for you guys. I'm going to get on with the day and yeah, I'm probably going to go work on this thing. It's like nonstop. Uh, gaming, Gamer Complete is the company. It's Edge and it says focus and energy. I'll put a link down below. I appreciate them sending this to me for you guys because I know there's a few of you guys out there that are looking for gaming supplements like this. So if this helped you out, great. Hopefully the information was good enough for you guys. I'm going to get going. We'll see you guys next time.